work I do on the internet, I often use networking sites. One networking site that I have found useful for the kind of work that I'm doing is called LinkedIn. That's LinkedIn.com. Now before I continue, I do not know anyone at LinkedIn. I do not know the owners. I don't own stock in their company. I'm not officially endorsing their website, except that I have used their website and I find it very useful. Unlike other websites I've used and still use, like Facebook or MySpace, for example, which are mostly for socializing, I found that LinkedIn is very useful for the individual who wants to get down and dirty and find contacts for partnerships, professional relationships, venture capital, even if they're just looking for a job. What I'd like to do now is tell you how I have used uh, LinkedIn and how you might benefit from using it as well. So let's take a look at the LinkedIn website and see what we can come up with. The first thing I want to show you is this box here in the upper right hand corner. It has options for groups, people, jobs, companies, and a wide variety of other information. I'm selecting groups and I'm going to type in a product, in this case scrap metal, and see if I can find groups related to scrap metal. Now, I'm already in many groups related to scrap metal, so this is going to be just for demonstration purposes. Now here's several groups, one called scrap metal, and if you notice, I'm already a member of some of these groups. On the main page, you have links for option, profile, contacts. Here you can check your connections, organize your profiles, and I have many groups. Many of my groups are related to international business and trade, as you can see, language, oil, voiceovers. I also happen to be a very good voiceover artist. You can even locate a job on this particular website and post job options. And of course we have a mailbox and a whole lot of other links for finding things by companies, application directors, getting answers to questions. One of the great features of this site is its search options. Here you have a three set of search options. Keywords, my choice is scrap metal in this case. Categories, I usually choose professional groups. That's what I'm looking for. And languages. Naturally I choose English, but the website is designed for a multiplicity of language uses. One way to be successful at LinkedIn is to use the group section. Now, I have a maximum of 50 groups, which is the maximum that you can get with a free account. As you can see, I have several different kinds of groups. Some are related to international business in general. Some are more specific, in this case, to commodities or scrap metal. And once you join groups, be natural. Contact people. Pose questions. Serious questions. And not just the kind of sort of puffball questions to let people know that you're there, like, hi guys, I'm here, come visit my website. But become actively interested in the other side of the process. Ask people about how you can best serve their interests, what kind of questions or needs they have, and ask for their advice. People love to give advice, so ask a lot of questions. Also actively search for people by their occupation. When you contact people, use a prepared text. Find out as much as you can from them, but don't ask too many questions all at once. Also, be sure and start discussions, which um, gives you the option to draw more attention to yourself. You can also contact people on a separate basis by uh, contacting them privately. There's a little contact button at the bottom for contacting people privately. When you send out discussions, also use a prepared text. You can use the same prepared text for multiple 
groups on the same subject. And when you leave a message, be sure to leave all the details. Don't be squeamish about telling people exactly what you're there for. You're going to these groups in order to make money. If you're going to go there and make money, make sure they can find you, use a signature, tell them everything about what you're trying to do. I want to buy this, I want to sell this. Don't be squeamish about it. They will respect you for it in the end.